Alright, let's go on a world tour. I'll show you the most curious things internet users have found across the globe. Little things light up cultures like nothing else. Let's start in a wonderland world, Asia. First stop, India, the country that will soon surpass China and will become the most populated country in the world. This right here is a street where many training and coaching centers are located. Now, in some states of India, people still widely follow a sustainable tradition of serving meals on banana leaves. A kind Redditor shared what a typical meal looks like. Another user commented that it is also common across the world in Puerto Rico. This right here is a regular day in Sri Lanka fishing. Tic Tacs are so expensive in Sri Lanka that little packs of 8 pieces are a thing. In China, some malls have a husband's storage. Women can leave their husbands there so that the boys can enjoy video games while their wives are shopping. It spares women from a lot of whining. Now this is a McDonald's located in an old newspaper stand. Even manholes are a work of art in Asia. Here's one example, a dragon art spotted by a user in Wuxi, China. Turns out, in China, eggs are sold in mesh bags. And of course, Asia has a bunch of snacks with unusual flavors. They even have cucumber flavored chips. This guy went to get a coffee in Singapore and got it in a bag. Turns out it's quite common in Southeast Asia. Also, they take ice cream sandwiches there quite literally in Singapore. Thing is, they put ice cream between actual toasts. The Redditor confirms that it's weirdly delicious. Would you dare to try? Here's a first look at a city in Japan. A Redditor shared a beautiful photo made at night in Yokohama. Other internet users shared that they felt very safe there, even when walking at night. And this is a photo of a snowfall. I didn't know that in Japan they get that much snow. Turns out, many toilets there have sinks on top of them. The dirty water after you washed your hands is used to flush, which saved Japan millions of gallons of water. They also collect rainwater and then use it to wash the roads. The water in the street canal in Japan is so clean that fish swim there. In Japan, many manholes are beautifully ornated too, and several users shared some of them. These are Japanese rice fields, and this is one of the designs in their cans. A Redditor spotted a tiny house somewhere in Japan. I wish I could have had the tour. They have driverless KFC trucks roaming the street and selling you food. Turns out, the Japanese don't have signatures. Instead, each person has a personal stamp that they use to sign documents. And this is a photo of a night bus. I wish every country's public transport was this cozy and comfortable. One Redditor went to see the White Temple in Thailand. You see, the buildings there are so stunning that even the toilet looks like this. This is a mobile 7-Eleven in Thailand. In Vietnam, tour guides can row with their feet only. This Redditor has proof. And now we're off to Australia. Some buses there have special stands for the passengers' surfboards. Since we like traffic lights today, I can't but show you this one. It features Mary Poppins, and it's installed in Queensland the hometown of P.L. Travers, the author of Mary Poppins. The next country on today's tour is New Zealand. Look at this urban wonder, a new apartment building built over an older house. Also, the citizens of New Zealand enjoy a unique lemonade drink Coca-Cola produces just for them. What a VIP treatment! Now, let's move across the Pacific Ocean to North America. We start in the second biggest country in the world, Canada. One of the most common stereotypes about Canada is that they are very polite. Well, a Redditor posted a photo of a Canadian bus saying sorry for being full. Even the buses are polite there. Another user found an outdoor toilet, but of course, dressed for cold weather. And one more user shared this photo. It was so windy in the town that the grass got blown off. As some Redditor commented, I can't own anything. The wind tried stealing my grass. One more unusual occurrence, a Redditor shared a photo of a huge iceberg passing by. Now, let's move to the US and start in the northern state, Alaska. These light pillars are reflections of the ice crystals in the sky. A resident of Alaska opened the front door after a snowstorm. 
Did you know that the U.S. is the homeland of skyscrapers? Yep, the first skyscraper in the world was built in 1885 in Chicago. The home insurance building had 10 stories. Now, it's not even close to a skyscraper, but that was the start. And look what this Redditor found in Seattle. It's not unfinished work, it's a skyscraper built on top of an 11-story pedestal called Rainier Tower. This is an abandoned diner somewhere in the California desert. Here's another interesting photo from a Redditor. A Mexican restaurant moved to a building where KFC had been. Instead of removing the logo, they just added a sombrero, a mustache, and a poncho. I say, genius! Since we talked about Mexico, let's move there. One user shared a pack of toast bread without any crusts. And another Redditor showed that potato chips go with a small packet of salsa there. Here's a Mexican crosswalk. The man on it has a dog and a hat. And this user shared photos of how his grandma hand-painted a toilet in Mexico. And this toilet brush holder gives me chills. Mexico is a whole different world. Cenotes are caused by erosion in the limestone bedrock, and they hold ground in rainwater. But this Redditor probably didn't expect to see this wonder right by a Costco store. The award for the stadium with the most mesmerizing view probably goes to this one. Turns out, the Bahamas are home to the biggest underwater statue in the world, which is called Ocean Atlas. Here's a photo from a Redditor. It's magnificent. You can even see a woman sitting on its hand for comparison. And here's a curiosity from Belize. Apparently, they sell bag drinking water there. It's very common in Central and South America. And this user met a grasshopper in Costa Rica. The hand is for comparison. Now, I have a question. What do Costa Rica and Australia have in common? Central America is hot. The average annual temperature there is 81 degrees Fahrenheit. No wonder this taxi in Panama only has controls for cold air. Okay, let's say bye to Central America and see what South America has in store for us. And the first store is in Colombia. A Redditor shared that in Bogota, people are paid for dressing as traffic cones and shaming drivers for parking on the street, which makes them move somewhere else. Having a stroll down the stairs of Brazil doesn't seem easy. You can run into trees like this one. Asia is well known for crazy chocolate flavors, but look what this Redditor found in Brazil. Snickers bars with coconut flavors, passion fruit, and even caramel and bacon. Here's a 20 peso bill from Argentina. It has guanaco on it. We still have to move across the Atlantic and visit Europe and Africa. See you in the next video! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.